So who are you and where are you from? Uh, my name's Tom Lawton. I'm from the Anandiliakwa Land and Sea Ranges, part of the Land Council up on Groot Island in the Northern Territory. What biosecurity solutions are you excited about for the future? Oh, look, I think um, as we've been doing on Groot for the last five years is um, working together, collaboration. Um, a, a lot more can be achieved I think, when we, we do work together and um, share knowledge and share resources. So I think coming out of this conference, it's definitely a take home message for me um, and something I'll be taking back to Groot Island. But um, yeah, working together um, and really getting that partnership between industry and community. How do you see the decade of biosecurity affecting your life? Um, my life personally, uh, look, I think that it's a positive. Uh, working in this biosecurity space is exciting. Uh, when I first started out, it wasn't as front and centre as what it is now. So I, I kind of look at it and go, wow, a career in biosecurity is a really awesome thing. Um, for Groot or for Northern Australia, where I work now, um, it's, it's important because, you know, we've talked a lot about, you know, what the threats are coming down from our northern neighbours, but not only that, we need to start thinking about the threats for our island communities as well. So I hope that the 10 years we'll see more focus on the protection of our island refuges like Groot um, and the importance of looking after places like that and how special they are. What's one of the most noteworthy incursions you've seen in your work? Um, so in 2018 on Groot Island, we had reports of a squirrel. Um, so we initially, we sort of discounted it and telling people it's probably just a baby quoll. Uh, Northern quolls are really common on group, which is great. Um, or a glider. And then more people sort of started coming to me saying, oh, someone saw a squirrel. And I'm like, no, 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 it must be a quoll, you know. And uh, then sure enough, someone came to me with a photo um, of an Indian palm squirrel. So we, um, we sort of got together as a group, spoke to Narcs, um, Brett Devitt at the time was our CLO. And yeah, from there we launched our own sort of, uh, yeah, Hunt. our own, yeah. So we put it out on social media on, on Groot Island, on our Facebook page. Sure enough, the next day, I did some reading up actually on best methods to catch Indian palm squirrels. Um, and yeah, we, um, we got a report the next day. I uh, went out, caught it within 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, an adult male Indian palm squirrel. So uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a result. Like it really demonstrates the work that land and sea rangers can do being on that front line in these remote areas and able to respond and um, to such things like that. So yeah, um, I don't ever now discount any reports of anything. How, how would have that got there, you reckon? Oh, look, it's, uh, I mean, it's yeah, I mean, it would have had to have, no, most of our, um, there's a lot of international vessels that come through to group. Oh. So the fuel ship comes from Singapore. Um, so yeah, um, it's not the first incursion of Indian palm squirrels in Australia. I know they've had a couple at the Port of Darwin. So yeah, it was just one for us that was totally unexpected. But again, <laughs> we got it. Yeah, yeah. That's great. G'day, I'm Tom from the Anandiliakwa Land and Sea Rangers on Groot Island, and I'm making the 2020s the decade of biosecurity.